welcome to the channel. It's Saturday. It's about uh, about 10:30, and I thought I'd come up and walk around a little bit and see what's going on. I was up here yesterday and uh, had to pick up some stuff, but I I didn't make a video or anything like that. But uh, we're here, and we're going to start at uh, Mooing Road Lane Nine and uh, walk through that area. It's one of my favorite areas to walk around, and we'll come out at the market. But I'll turn the camera around so you can see where we're at here. This is a new place too. I've not noticed this before. But uh, we're gonna go down here and we'll walk to the right. And uh, I'm gonna tell you a little story about something that happened last week. Um, it's kind of interesting. But uh, this place used to be a burger joint. And they had some really good burgers, but they've changed it into a cannabis place now. The uh, the owner of the, of the place, I think his name was Craig or something. He he died and his uh, his wife didn't keep the business going, but now it's a, a cannabis shop. They used to have really good burgers there. Oops, let me get in this lady's way. She's working. Chill out bar. But uh, this is this really a neat area to walk around. A lot of stuff going on here, and a lot of changes too. I noticed yesterday most of the tourists that I saw walking around were were Asian. There wasn't that many uh, Europeans or Americans that I, I really noticed yesterday. And I was around Tap A. Uh, we had to go to the pharmacy yesterday and pick up some stuff. But uh, it's definitely, you know, definitely coming back to life for sure. But anyway, the story I'm going to tell you is last week there was a, a Chinese girl that came into Chiang Mai and parent, she was a, she had a TikTok channel and it was pretty popular. And uh, she made a few videos around the city and one, in, in one of the videos in particular, actually she made two. Oh, here goes my phone. I'll shut this off for a minute. Okay, I'm back. But anyway, um, this girl, and it didn't say how long she had been here. But uh, she made a couple of videos, and two of them were in the back of a, one of those red trucks. And uh, she kind of did not, you know, it's, you know she, in the back of the truck, she strips down to her panties and her, her bra and stuff and does a little bit of a dance. And uh, whoever was with her videotaped it. And, uh, the, uh, oops, get out of the way here. And apparently the video attracted over 500,000 views in a short period of time. Well, it upset people in Chiang Mai. But uh, I would venture to say that uh, by the time they picked up on it, she was already gone because there was no picture of her in the paper or anything like that. and they. They basically said that they were going to uh, instruct the uh, the red truck drivers or the songtail drivers to be a little bit more cautious of what goes on in the back of their trucks. I mean, it was more than likely uh, he didn't even know what was going on. Tie one on bar. I just saw they sell tacos there. But we are going to go left here. and go down this way. Fruit Plus Red Rabbit Vegan Pizzeria. A lot of people moving around. But yeah, there was a big uproar about it. And I, you know, I really didn't see anything drastic about it or anything like that. It wasn't, you know, she wasn't really exposing herself and she wasn't in a, really a sacred place, so to speak. But uh, they, they raised hell about it. Now I looked today for the video. I found the video the other day and uh, and watched it. There was actually two of them. And I looked today and her entire account is gone. Now whether they blocked it from Thailand, I don't know, or, or whether she's deleted it or, or whatever, I have no idea. I'll try to do a little bit more research when I, uh, when I get home. But uh, they were pretty upset. That's neat. 
don't think anybody's riding that thing. <laughs> kind of cool. But anyway, we're gonna go to walk down here to the Blue Diamond, and then we're gonna go left. I feel uh, I feel pretty good. I uh, it's our boys in brown. I've already walked uh, 3.5 kilometers this morning, and uh, I feel good. I feel, don't uh, I'm not tired. Uh, my, Legs don't hurt, they feel good. Now what they're doing up here is this business has got a, a box here where they, uh, they pay to have their business checked. And what he's doing is he's signing the, the sheet here. And a lot of times they'll get off and take a picture in front of the, in front of the, uh, the sign, but this, this time apparently he didn't do it. Pretty cool house. We'll walk up here to the cross street and then we'll go left. And that should take us through the market. But I thought it was kind of interesting. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with it per se, uh, but you know, when people in, in Chiang Mai are a little bit more modest than they are in Bangkok and in some of the other places. Um, you know, it's just like you see somebody walking down the street up here with no shirt on, and it's kind of frowned upon. Um, somebody told me it was actually against the law, but I, I, I've not read anything t to that effect. But, uh, you know, you just, uh, you know, you're in a different country, they have different rules, they have different customs, you know, you just try to, try to abide by their customs and uh, enjoy your time. Yeah, some neat art here. That's really cool. But we'll go left here. It should take us right through the market. I mean, what this girl did is it's nothing compared to the, you know, what the two American guys did um, back a few years ago, and I, you know, I did a video on that as well. And we'll walk up this way where they were, you know, at temples and things and taking pictures of their butts, which is really, really, you know, it's just not, not a good thing to do. Juice bar. I think we might cut through this alley. Yes, we definitely will, because I want to come out at the market. I've not noticed a lot of this stuff here before. Walking Street. Yeah, we'll go up here and go left. Waffle Square. Everybody just enjoying their time. It's nice and cool out. It's only about uh, about 32 degrees Celsius, and uh, the wind's blowing a little bit. Hello. So it's not too bad. Makes for an enjoyable walk. 
Now I hope this comes out where I think it is. You know, it's, I'm kind of lazy. I've not walked in a while. So I don't uh, remember where all the streets come out. But I'm pretty sure it'll come out at the market. Laundry's hanging out. I usually run into somebody or that uh, knows me or has seen the channel before when I'm walking on this street. So far, not not uh, not yet. The ATM machine, chicken nuggets. A pretty shirt. Hello. Donald's Home Bakery. Huh. I'm getting, I'm getting ready to get a massage. Fish cooking. Maybe. Cannabis places everywhere up here. back out on the road. Now right down there is my favorite place to eat, Sompech Kitchen. And then you got Good Monday Donuts right on the other side. Oh. And we're going to go this way. <laughs> Fried banana. All kinds of stuff. Traffic is starting to pick up. I want to thank everybody that's come in the channel and uh, left comments, uh, bought coffee, uh, left super thanks. I really appreciate that. Uh, makes me feel good that people are, are enjoying the content and uh, enjoying the stories and the videos and stuff like that. Now up here on the left is a coffee shop. Everybody, everybody knows it. I'm not sure if it's open there yet or not. right here on the corner. It was right here on the corner. Yeah, it looks like it's closed today. Oh, open June 26th. She's taking a few days off. That's pretty good. We'll walk on down here to the car. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It helps the channel out get, out, get out to more people. And more people will see it and enjoy the content. But anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.